Well, here we are down in my basement again, and another short video. It's cold and windy and just awful outside, so not much flying being done these days around here. Uh, lots of Christmas parties and some other activities, but uh, unfortunately, these little birds are sitting in the basement collecting dust and probably will be for several months to come. Today, I want to talk to you about this T28 and what I've done to the wiring. Like a lot of these more complex models, this one has actually four leads coming in off the wings for a total of eight connections that have to be made to the receiver. You've got landing gear, lights, flaps, and ailerons that all have to be cooked up to Y cables. And that is a problem because each one of them has to have a label. You have to be careful to hook them up to the correct Y cable. It doesn't matter left or right, they work just fine because they're all on Y cables. So that's not a problem, but it's a real bother with these more complex models that have four leads coming in off the wings. If they don't have the wing plugs, like some of the, like my Cherokee, for example, uh, or my Cessna 150, if they don't have the, the, the plugs on the ends of the wings and in the fuselage where you put the wings on, Everything gets plugged in automatically, which, by the way, that solution also has some issues of its own, as I've found, that have required some cable replacements. But anyway, uh, just want to suggest that there is an easier way to do this. Even if you only don't have the lights, for example, and you only have three leads coming in for gear, flaps, and ailerons, this is still a good solution. And I'll put a link to the supplier in the description for these leads. Uh, they are expensive. They come from Canada and they're not cheap, but I think in the long run they're going to pay off. So I'm going to stop here, go get the camera, and show you the inside of this T28 as modified. Uh, holding the camera here, here, right here, are the ends of the Y connectors into this AR637T which, by the way, I dearly love. And also there's the GPS. I really kind of doubt if I'm ever going to need that GPS with this model. It's so big, if it ever crashes, I, and it's the color it is, I think I'll be able to find it in a tree or on the ground or wherever. So this was the solution. One, I had to tape all of these uh, connections, keep them from pulling out. But I also color-coded my wires left and right yellow and red and the wings have the same connectors on them coming off through this hole right here and all i did do is plug in the wings to these four bus servo extensions color code it takes all of two or three seconds to plug them in. I also, on the wings, had to tape these servo leads together because they were <clears throat> separating. When I tried to actually pull them up through here, I was having problems with the uh, servo uh, extensions disconnecting from the leads coming off the wings. And uh, But a little bit of masking tape will fix that. And I've also obviously uh, tied, tied all this together so it makes a nice neat bundle. Uh, shouldn't have any problems with things pulling apart or getting separated. And <clears throat> what used to take five minutes sometimes to get everything connected correctly uh, and having to look at those silly labels. Don't really need those anymore unless something comes unplugged. So don't need the uh, lead labels don't need to connect up eight different connections just two and these have locks on them 
so they can't come disconnected. You know, they're just easy to really disconnect. You just push on a little tab, they come right off, pop them off, take the wing off, bingo. Really, really neat solution. I found this actually on somebody else's YouTube, I'll be honest with you. I did not invent this, but uh, I'll give you, a, again, a, a link to the supplier. I think there may be also, I think there's a company in the U.S. that sells these too, but they were out of stock on these uh, when I checked them, and so I went direct to the supplier up in Canada and had them shipped in. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a long winter here in Indiana. If you live in a sunnier place, good for you. Enjoy your flying wherever you are. Uh, maybe we'll get a nice day. We will be flying on January 1st. That's a club tradition. Everybody brings an airplane out, no matter what the weather, and we fly it. If nothing else, I'll bring out my Conchendo, which doesn't have any landing gear, and put it up in the air. Regardless, snow, wind, rain, We'll be flying on New Year's Day. Anyway, take care, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.